Hey guys, it's Alex O'Neill again. Um, why does everyone get so upset about everything? Uh, so this is Alex Talks. I'm Alex O'Neill. And uh, as per usual, on a Tuesday and Friday basis, I come here at my desk. I look at that camera and I talk about video games in a kind of solo format that you guys listen to. And I really appreciate that. So. Uh, one of the things that I, I kind of wanted to talk about today was topical. And I, I try to keep these, you know, more general and my Friday stuff more topical. But, uh, it was, it was interesting. It provoked an idea. So let's, let's see where this takes us. So Nintendo announced today that they are not doing an E3 press conference this year, much like last year. Instead, they'll be doing a digital event. Uh, and they'll basically be streaming all of their demos and everything the entire time that they're at E3, uh, starting on June 10th, which I, I think is interesting. It could be all right. I don't know. It's too early to say. Uh, I, obviously, there was problems last year with uh, the Nintendo Direct, and they started, you know, kind of, they didn't do a press conference last year, or they did some kind of conference, but they did it for publishers, and they, you know, it wasn't a broadcasted thing. Uh, much like some additional thing that Microsoft had done. But it, you know, the problem was it was a Nintendo Direct and their servers got stormed and it was very laggy when it was live and when it was ongoing. So I, I, I'm curious as to like the reaction that's come out of this. A, a lot of heated reaction has come out of this. It seems like anytime Nintendo does anything though, one section of people is going to be exceptionally upset, and the other section is going to be full of just hatred and spitfire rage that that is not constructive and doesn't help anything. I mean, I, I had some actually really interesting Twitter conversations that didn't fall into either of those categories, so I was happy with it, about that. But the the thing is, like, the whether Nintendo does an E3 press press conference or not doesn't really affect much, you know. They spend a lot of money on press conferences to do them, and it's, you know, what what, what does it get you? You know, it, it's televised, but no one watches it on TV. I don't even think, like, PlayStation and EA and whatnot are televised anymore because there's no G4 anymore. There's, they, there's the Spike TV stuff, but you can just watch that on game trailers or on IGN at this point. Any Anywhere you can watch those uh, press conferences, so... It's like the the televised aspect of it is kind of gone. So if you're just going to be watching it online, why not make it something more specific for online? Why spend the money for this big budget event? When what does that really get you? You know, they, they did that kind of before because it was going to be televised. And that way, when they reached the maximum audience, it would spike interest. But that's not really an issue anymore. So why does it matter if Nintendo does or does not have... Uh, a press conference, uh, like, like the one they did last year, like, like the, the, the Nintendo Direct that they did. Um, it just, it, it doesn't really affect us directly. That's the bottom line. Us as, as people who consume games content, uh, it doesn't really affect us directly. And that got me thinking, uh, which is always a dangerous game. And I hope I don't offend anybody with this, but, you know, it, it is kind of like a, a simple opinion, like I, I, it, there's probably more to it that I don't understand, but just from my perspective of like the consumer is so obsessed with what the business does. Um, like the business that is the company that they will kill for that brand, whatever it is. So the consumer, you know, it, it always gets so volatile at it, all the little decisions that they've done, but like, what's the reality of it? It does, Nintendo spending money on a press conference, or Sony or Microsoft spending money on a press conference, it's not just limited to Nintendo, does that really make a huge difference? Does does that really matter anymore? I don't think it does. Like, you know, people were talking about how E3, you know, there was a time when it was like, it changed a lot, and it's still changing, and it's still, the, the level of its relevance is more and more questionable every year, I think, because of how... Uh, companies and publishers kind of distribute information now. You know, you can have your own Nintendo Direct style thing out there 
and that will get as much excitement as E3 nowadays. Like when Sony announced the PlayStation 4 back in February of last year, you know, that that wasn't E3. That was their own little press conference that they invited people to come see, and it was a different thing, and people got really excited for it. It was all streamed online. It's just getting so upset about these little things like Nintendo, we're not doing a press conference. That isn't uh changing anything really like that isn't going to be the the last nail in the coffin that kills the wii u all right that's just silly to think that and I, a lot of people are kind of jumping around that idea and it's just it's silly it like that's the only way i can describe it. it's just silly because them having a press conference is them spending money that they don't need to because like the the hundreds of thousands of people that would have watched their press conference are still going to watch their Nintendo Direct or their uh, digital event was the wording that they used uh, on June 10th. So I I don't understand what the real purpose of of a press conference would get them. Is them having a press conference is that going to save the Wii U or prove that they're taking this seriously? No, they're still taking it seriously, but. It's just, it's a different ball game for Nintendo. And that's the bottom line. Like, they've always stressed this idea that, uh, they don't consider Microsoft and Sony competitors. And whether that's true or not is irrelevant because the point is Nintendo doesn't consider them competitors or competition. They are playing with their own set of rules and they are not playing by the set of rules that Sony and Microsoft are playing by. You know, you'll see Sony and Microsoft making jabs at each other on each other's stages. But that is, you know, that's them living in their own vortex where they're both spiraling around one another, fighting for dominance. And Nintendo is off to the side doing whatever the hell they're doing, which usually includes making a lot of money on handheld systems and games. And it's just judging them by the same set of rules and same set of things that they need to get done is just, it's not, it's becoming less and less relevant. And it, it's, they maybe are taking the right action by changing their game, changing what they're doing and appealing to a different audience because that's what they've been trying to do for the past so many years. And that's what they did with the Wii. So like they don't need a press conference like Sony and Microsoft do. And I think, you know, just saying that I don't think Sony and Microsoft need a press conference like they used to. They can get as much attention and as much excitement from doing a digital uh, press conference uh, like a Nintendo Direct straight on the PlayStation blog or, or or Major Nelson's blog or something like that. They can get a huge and excited response from fans through that and save a lot of money. And I think what Nintendo is doing is smart. And this vested interest in these big businesses is just, it's becoming kind of outrageous. Like, I have a vested interest in all of this because I want to write and cover the games industry. And, uh, and in doing that, I want to inform people of what's going on. And that's why I have a vested interest in all of this. But the reality is, as a consumer, as the general public that just wants to play the games, uh, whether Nintendo does an E3 press conference or a digital event or anything at all on June 10th is completely irrelevant. Because they're still going to make games and they're still going to put them out, regardless of of whether they have a big boy press conference or a streamable Nintendo event. That's the reality of it. That's where they are at right now. And the general consumer that is just like, I don't understand why they're not doing it. It's stupid. It's going to ruin the Wii U more than it already has been. Their interest doesn't make any sense to me. It's just over my head, I guess. And it's just... It comes from a spiteful place of rage and, and frustration. Like, what does Nintendo get out of making a big hubbub like Sony and Microsoft? Nothing, really. The reality is nothing. You know, there's no difference. Like, maybe they get more attention. Maybe two or three people or, or big analysts say that they're taking this seriously. And and wh- what does them saying that even mean? I, no one knows. It's just It's all just PR and, and spin on everything. So kind of getting so upset about just this one little thing, this one little thing that I think from a business standpoint is a pretty good idea, especially for Nintendo, when they have to push in a different direction because obviously the Wii U cannot compete 
with the PS4 and Xbox One, both in power and in third-party support. So them, them doing something different is exactly what they should be doing. So I, I, I just, my, my kind of idea is this confusion as to why the consumer, the, the person that just plays and buys video games is so obsessed with the little things that the business, the, the corporation that is looking to make a profit is doing. It just, it is over my head. Um, but you know, it, it's, it, we'll, we'll see what happens. And yeah, I, 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 I'm confused and I don't know. Maybe that's just uh, the curse of trying to look at this logically. Uh, but uh, that's all I got. Uh, do you have anything you, you think about uh, Nintendo or just the, the kind of vested interest in the big businesses and corporations of the games industry in general? Um, let me know. Uh, tweet at me, and I'll get back to you. These go up every Tuesday and Friday. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll keep talking. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. But until Friday, I will talk to you guys later.